Hey there, I'm here at Selfridges Department Store to meet with Freddie Soule, um, who's just got a new furniture range of upcycled furniture. So Freddie, great to meet you. Um, first of all, can you just describe what upcycling actually is? It's a bit of a tricky one. I think upcycled is kind of a uh, fusion between using sort of recycled, so trying to find an item that's maybe had another use. I think that's the key. So taking it from something that's been had its life uh, in another use and that you're then incorporating it into a totally new design and sort of saving it if you like. Um, rather than just recycling it, you're saving it and you're putting it into a totally new product. How did you get into environmental design then? Was that kind of natural progression? To be honest, it was, it was totally by accident. Um, my mum actually came across the, the boards here um, in a, a reclamation yard in Somerset. Um, and she said, is there no way that we can try and sort of do something with these, maybe make something out of them? Um, and so we had a little play around with it and then just worked out the tables really. Um, sort of wanted to keep an industrial kind of fusion mix between sort of making the most of them without making them too simple or so that was the kind of plan. Yeah, so, and you've also done sculpture in the past so how did you actually get into design and is this something that you've always wanted to do growing up? I think it was probably mostly from my father. Um, obviously the foundations of Mulberry were growing up around that was a pretty big influence to making yeah. you want to design stuff and just constantly having it sort of in the background whether you realise it or not I think. Um, but yeah, sculpture I think I just sort of um, came across it by chance really. I, I discovered that I had a love of, of using steel, working with steel. There's something very satisfying about the fact that you can spend sort of two minutes welding something together and, and it'll hold together for life. Yeah. Um, and so things like um, a guy called Pip Rush Jansen from who does all the stuff at Glastonbury, he's like crazy uh, sculptures that move and stuff yeah. all from steel. That sort of inspired me to try and have a play around with it really. Mm -hmm. you, well you just mentioned that your dad of course founded Mulberry and he was also involved in this project with you. How Absolutely. much of his like design aesthetic goes into these tables? A uh, good measure definitely. Yeah. I mean at the start off it was it was certainly me being able to tell him what was physically possible with the steel um, and we sort of bounced each other, ideas off each other from there. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're now sort of trying to come up with some new products together, some other stools and um, benches and then I think lighting as well hopefully yeah, soon. Oh wonderful and, again, and Mulberry's quite a classic British brand, how would you describe the Souls brand? Um, similar I think but with a sort of a slightly more modern twist. Um, I think that's a big part of it for me, a sort of classic English design but I'm not sure that you'd necessarily associate the tables with I that if you looked at them. I guess that's the kind of thing though, is because it's kind of a bit of heritage, but then the steel kind of brings more industrial, yeah, like so I said, it's, it's kind a of a fusion of the young and old. Exactly, kind of. yeah, it's the sort of idea of having, having that steel, leaving it sometimes a little bit rusty around the edges, just cleaning it back, means that you really do have that nice fusion, if you like. Yeah, so you mentioned some of your future projects that you're doing, so what are some of the other things you'll be working on as well, the stools, lighting? Yeah, um, the big thing I think is just to sort out some really good seating for the tables, for the dining table or for anything else really, um, so that someone can have a, like a lower price point entry as well if they'd like. Mm -hmm. um, so those are, I'm nearly finished on working one of those out prototype. Uh, then some sort of uh, lighting that's kind of like sculpture, I think, um, is, is something I want to try and work out. I guess that's kind of fusing your two skills. Exactly, yeah. Passion. Sort of working out, again, quite individual pieces. Um, but that's really what I kind of want to move towards as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, talking about design as a whole, is there any other designers you really look up to at the moment, or like ones that are up and coming? Sure. Um, I think my favourite at the minute is Tom Dixon. Um, mm -hmm. Big, big fan you of that. You can see it all in new design aesthetics, quite yeah. a similar kind of idea. Yeah, I think it? so. Um, I mean, I, yeah, just a huge fan, really. Mm -hmm. he's, the stuff that he's come up with is sort of so genius, the way it's... Some of them are almost like cartoons that someone's brought to life. Mm -hmm. um, some of the lighting stuff, um, but just beautiful things. Um, I, I saw something recently by a guy called Julian Chichester, um, I think he's from New York, um, that was, again, just sort of beautiful, very smooth lines, um, sort of a table thing that was just one piece of car from a single piece of wood. Wow, wonderful. So yeah. that was beautiful. Um, so yeah, a few bits and pieces. I like, to be honest, I like to have, I've got a quite sort of innocent mind, if you like, and I don't, it's kind of unclouded. I don't mm -hmm. tend to look that much at other people's stuff because I think you sort of sometimes get, it sounds a bit pretentious, but you sometimes get a bit more of an edge like that. You can come up with yeah, something a little bit more original. I think people are just really keen to try and have a product that maybe hasn't just sort of involved chopping down a new tree or, you know, just as utilised wherever possible old things, um, but still come up with something that feels very luxury and very unique. Um, so that's really where I'm coming from. Oh, well, it was great speaking to you today. Thank you so much, Freddie, and we can't wait to see some more of your stuff coming soon as well. Thank you, Scott. Right, thank you.